Coming up, what's trending in Major League Baseball, including why the Houston Astros are the best team in baseball. Hey, 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 What's up, guys? Let's uh, let's talk about what's trending in MLB, Luis. In this in this wonderful section, we're calling hot or not. Who's hot? Who's not? Shall I start it off? Yes. All right, man. Do you want to know who's hot? I would like to know who's hot. The Houston Astros are the best team in baseball, Luis. What? These are facts, man. It's just factual information here. Their 48 and 30 record is the best in the American League. Their 142 run differential is the best in Major League Baseball. And they're doing this without a top 10, you know, hitter per se. Maybe Cor- Carlos Correa is having a really good season. I don't know if he's a top 10 hitter yet. They're doing it without a top 10 pitcher per se. They're doing it like it's just pure grit. And and uh, Dusty Baker has been a godsend to this team, and and maybe they got it right. Maybe he's the right old school manager to bring into an organization. Player friendly, he has their back. Old school mentality. Um, but the Astros are back, bro. How could they be doing this? What could be the the reason? I mean, MLB's cracking down on the foreign substances. I'm not saying Houston Astros was using that, but they they were able to turn pitches around in the past. I wonder what could be the the reason they're just dominating right now. I don't know, man, but some people are saying who are tracking the the RPMs, the the revolutions per minute, the the whole sticky stuff stuff uh, stuff, spin rate. They're saying that the Astros aren't even like in the top 10 of of the difference in in spin. So hmm. either they maybe they're just not cheating anymore or or they've mastered a way to hide this stuff. And also if you think about it, they have a guy in Urquidi who's really a changeup pitcher. He doesn't really utilize any spin, you know, type pitches. You have a guy like Lance McCullers who you can see maybe would want to use sticky stuff because he has that nice, that deadly curveball slider combo. Um, and then you have Greinke who, again, he he throws like 80-something miles an hour. Like, he's not really relying on spin. Um, I don't know, man. And then you have someone like Framber uh, Valdez who just, no control, he's just laying it out there, you know. Um, I don't know, but they're they're good. And then you have Michael Brantley's hitting like a beast. Carlos Correa is, is doing well. Jose Altuve was doing well for for a while there. I'm not sure how he's doing lately. I haven't looked at the stats. Um, they're just a good team, man. At this point, we just have to acknowledge that they're a good team, and that's it. Yeah, man. Not to mention rookie Luis Garcia, aka Stevie B, mm. popular freestyle artist from the 80s and 90s. This guy okay. is. I don't really know what he does, but he has a funky delivery, and he's solid, man. He's on my fantasy team. I'm pretty proud of it. Good pickup, man. Good pickup. Thank but you. But, yeah. Yeah. Manny, speaking of another player in relation to this uh, sticky stuff, since we we have footage and proof that he had some gunk on his hat, Clayton Kershaw mm. is hot. Yes, he is. Clayton S- Kershaw. You hear me, YouTube, for your captions and stuff? Clayton Kershaw of the Los Angeles <laughs> you, Dodgers. You may have just ruined <laughs> any possibility yeah. that Google will pick this up. That's right. Clayton Kershaw struck out 13 batters for the first time since July 9th, 2017, almost an entire four years ago. And I think something good is that he's been healthy for this for most of the season. He's probably missed a little bit of time. Uh, he's posting, uh, I know you're going to love this, 2.86 FIP compared mm. to his... 3.25 ERA and he's post he's posting his highest strikeouts per nine since uh, once again 2017 the Dodgers are currently second place second in the NL West um and they're pretty sure they're going to round out as one of the best teams again probably the favorites to win the World Series by by the end of the year and so in the same vein that I was talking about the the Los Angeles Dodgers I think had the most pitchers uh, who had a significant drop in spin, and and so in my mind I was thinking when I when I read this or I forget where I saw it, I said to myself, Clay and Kershaw has to be one of these guys because I'm always talking about him dipping his hat in a vat of insert your sticky substance here, whatever you want to call it, um, and then seeing this performance, and I'm like, okay, well, 
shut up, man. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Kershaw's elite. He's always been elite. And he'll always. always be elite. And that's it, man. That's it. That's all I got to say. But moving on, Manny, yeah. Yeah, Gary yeah, man. Sanchez will not be participating in the 2021 home run derby. He, no, he will not. He qual- he qualifies, but he won't be participating. But I'm going to tell you who is participating. Hot player, Trevor Story of the Colorado Rockies. Shortstop, Trevor Story, mm. YouTube algorithm, will be participating <laughs> <laughs> in the 2021 home run derby. Uh, the other players also uh, participating so far that we know will be Shohei Otani. Oh, my God. Wow. Pete Alonzo, who's having a down year, but he's he can hit the ball far. Yes, and Trey, Trey Mancini. I would that I'm, I'm, I'm excited about Trey Mancini, believe it or not. Yeah, would love to um, see that. I'm just gonna say it's no secret. I want Otani to just dominate that. God, I love uh, co- competition. I love Otani as well, but I love when the home team has a player that participates in stuff like this. So, Trevor Story, uh, Bryce Harper participated when they had it at the at Washington and that's part. And I was it. there. I was there. You were there, man. Oh, it's yeah. all connected. Oh. It's all connected. <laughs> so, <laughs> shout out to uh, Trevor Story uh, for participating in the Home Run Derby. He didn't have to do it, but he's doing it. He's doing it, man. And speaking of All-Star, is it the weekend? I don't know. Usually, it's like on a Tuesday or something. MLB has to fix that. Anyway, speaking of that All-Star day break, All-Star break, Let's move on to not here because I'm feeling a little down about the MLB All-Star Game uniforms. They are absolutely disgusting. They're just I don't understand why. So I I, I also heard through the grapevine that there there won't be a players weekend this year. So if there won't be a players weekend this year where they wear those uniforms with their nicknames on it, why not just do that on the All-Star Game? Those uniforms are better than what the what MLB put together for the All-Star Game this year. It's a black and white uniform that's hard to read. It says COL on it with the name of the team or whatever. Like th- It's just a, a horrible looking, terrible choice by baseball for a billion dollar industry. I, I know a few people, MLB, Rob Manfred. I have someone, a cousin. His name is Luigi Gomez. He's related to that guy you're looking on the screen there, that handsome fellow with that C on his hat. He does better work than this shirt that we're seeing there. You know what I mean? Like Yeah. What are they doing? It's it's ridiculous. And but what's the ex- and what's the excuse too? Like, is it that they had short time between moving it from Atlanta to the Rockies and they didn't oh, know no. what to do? Like, they could no. Nah, come on, man. You can whip. You can with the money that MLB makes. You can put together a team in a week and set something up in a month. Have all the players accounted for. Have everything in place. These things. I think the most upsetting thing about these jerseys is the first thing that came to mind when I saw them was soccer. Now yeah, a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people saying that. When I was growing up, I used to bash soccer all the time because I thought it was the most boring sport on television. I've grown up since then. Although I don't watch soccer, I see it. Like I see the excitement, and I feel like it's more about culture in soccer. Yeah. Whether like the game is exciting. But it's more about culture. Like people are behind what soccer means to them. I don't think soccer is more exciting than baseball, believe it or not. But still, I was upset to see these jerseys and think soccer. Like yeah, it yeah. looks, it looks soccer. What are you guys doing, man? Like, why does MLB? Why do we have to defend like MLB in other sports? You know, why do we? Know, why man. do we have to keep going through this? these iterations of oh yeah but you know i don't know man i think what you 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 mentioned they're perfect the the players weekend shirts or jerseys whatever they use would have been would have been fine i would have been okay with it this is a different sport than what we're used to seeing so i would have been okay with anything at this point but those jerseys were disappointing and they're like so i was mentioning the colorado rockies all-star game uniform where it says col with their logo cr when i first saw it i was like i I didn't understand it at first. I thought it was like a, a like numbers or something. And I was like, oh, I see Colorado, C-O-L and the logo. I don't get it. Just put the logo on there. You don't have to put the, the team's yeah. initials. It's like, it's ugly. It doesn't, it's hard to read. Like, And what are these jerseys that they came out with? The city? The city connect, oh. the Nike city connect. So that was Nike. That was Nike, yeah. 
Okay, so Nike clearly didn't have any say in these jerseys. No. For the I game. mean, okay. they have their logo on that, but I think they have their logo on every jersey this year. Okay. The Nike City Connect uniforms would have been better a better idea than this. No, they, the, those jer- those jerseys look nice. I like the Nike City Connect ones. I don't love the Boston ones, but I get it, and it connects to the city. Their people, you know, people from Boston love it. It's a, it's about yeah. the Boston Marathon and all that stuff. But it's always it's always one step forward and three steps exactly. three steps back with with the marketing team. For oh my MLB. god, man! Baseball, yeah, like it's it's just it's it's not good. It's not good. Another thing that wasn't hot, that was not hot, is the MLB sticky substance checks. So, hmm. first off. It got it, the ugliest version of it was when Joe Girardi sent the umpires out to go check Max Scherzer because, according to him, he's never seen Max Scherzer go to his head so much in his life. And there's a reason for that, Joe. It's because they can't use sticky substances. So he's looking for moisture for his hand so he can control the, the ball. He's using his sweat. So we cannot ban sweat, I don't think. So what's wrong with that? So Joe Girardi, get out of here with that. But that's not the point of this. Baseball, I think, completely fumbled this. And I blame the players and and Major League Baseball. First off, if if there was a conversation between both sides and they couldn't agree on something, then I blame the players because these are the rules on the book and all all and what what's you have no argument against baseball. If if they if baseball says we want to do these checks on you, we want to do it in the dugout, blah, 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 and you say no, baseball's gonna come back to you and say, These books have been on the rule on this rule has been in the books for a century. And we haven't enforced them. We're enforcing them now. There's nothing you can do about it. Uh, but that's besides the point. There was so many. There's, there's, there were better ways to do this. You could have done the check in the dugout before the pitcher comes out. You could, if you don't trust that maybe when they go around the horn that maybe somebody's going to put something on it, then when they go around the horn, the third baseman can throw the ball into the dugout like they do at the beginning of every game. I've seen I, I, I've seen it happen, and the umpire can provide a new ball. The umpire, if he sees something odd with the ball, once it's been thrown, he could confiscate it, check it for sticky substances. There's just so many different ways you could do it. And then you have Hector Santiago this weekend from Bluefield, New Jersey, by the way. I didn't know that until I looked him up. Um, was the first player to get tossed for sticky substances, and I think he's going to get suspended. And he claims all he used was rosin. And if you watch that Trevor Bauer interview, I think it was last year, he used, I think it was sweat or water and rosin, and he was able to stick a ball to his hand and hold it like this. Like it was just, it was that sticky. Um, if if you're going to kick people out for rosin, if it's true that all Hector Santiago used was rosin, then, then get rid of that rosin bag too. Like why is it back there? You know what I mean? It's just... Yeah, and then you had Garrett Cole who got rocked yesterday. I think it was after the fourth inning. He had a he had a bad inning and he got checked. And it's like, I know you have to do it, but if somebody's getting annihilated, what's the point? It didn't work, so just let it go. Yeah, you know what I mean. I, I don't. I don't even think common MLB fans realize how what 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 got taken away from baseball when even they started like autom like you know replays for teams and now with this like consistent checking of players like what's this guy's name uh hayes from the from the pirates Cabrian their hayes. basement yeah i'm pretty sure you saw that beautiful play oh, yeah. he made over the weekend oh, yeah. what happened after that it was like everyone was like yeah let's go and then all you see is actually i don't know if it happened in that play specifically but the point i'm trying to make is bang bang plays that are amazing to to you know uh appreciate all you see is players turning to the to the dugout like oh check yep. check the thing now they have to delay like the commercial yep. break now we have to address it uh pitcher goes out and has an immaculate inning or well, way he has to go get checked you know like i almost feel like that was like the beauty of sports back in like the 90s or whatever when you were growing up it's like something great happened in the moment just like we lived in the moment period now yeah. it's like the way that baseball is going about this just very it just looks so old and cheap like inefficient yeah, yeah it looks cheap like it doesn't make any sense it's almost like where else has where else in sports has there been a time where you were checked before you were actually caught like cheating like yeah you know yeah i don't, I don't know and i get it yeah and, and i get it because i guess it was a, a drastic time goes calls for whatever the whole hell the saying is but i get it but it's it does just it doesn't look right yeah and and then you have like i didn't know that in, in the nba you have 10 seconds 10 seconds to shoot a free throw and somebody was talking about how uh how i think it was gian uh giannis Atetokounmpo or whatever 
he goes longer than 10 seconds, but it's not enforced. And they were trying to make the point that it doesn't matter. What's what's the difference, right? So there's some rules that just don't need to be enforced. In baseball, they're trying to enforce all these rules to speed up the game, but what they're doing at the end of the day is elongating it. Like, maybe there shouldn't be... Maybe you shouldn't be allowed to challenge until, like, the last two innings of the game or so. Like, after the seventh inning, then you get your challenges or something. Or, I don't know. Or if you or if you challenge and it's, and it's ruled like the rule stands you lose the rest of your challenges for the rest of the game like i don't know kershaw said something like if 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 a manager sends a the umpire out to check for sticky substances and nothing is found that 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 manager loses all his challenges i think something like that would be good Hmm. and i think that i agree like you see like rallies or or like a good play like cabrant hayes or or after somebody gets out of an inning or something and he's walking off the mound and then all of a sudden they have to be stopped to get checked it's just like it almost makes it look clunky. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, can there just nah, be man. somebody in the umpire who checks it as they're walking in the umpire and it's not, like, part of the telecast or whatever? And then when you come back in to introduce the game, the announcer just says, all right, uh, uh, Garrett Cole was found to use sticky substances. He's being replaced by Jonathan Loisiga or whatever. And then you ask questions about it later. It's just, yeah. I don't know. There's a better way to go about this. I've never seen in any game where they just institute a new, like not a new rule, but they decide that they're going to follow a rule to a T in such an exaggerated way in the middle of the season, like baseball just did right now. I, yeah. That's something I would have waited. I would have waited for until next year. And you got to ask yourself, like, is this, is this it? Like, is this going to be part of baseball for the, for the rest of our lives? Like, is the Grom going to be checked in every game that he's, that he pitches from now to the end of his career? It yeah. just doesn't, it just doesn't seem right. It just feels like, Whatever sure the answer is, it. we're yeah. not here coming up with solutions. Obviously, we're just saying like we don't like it. Um, yeah. I, I, yeah, hope- I think I think they should just they should have just enforced the rule the way it's written in the books. Like if, if you suspect and you get checked and you're caught, you're out. That's it. Like why are we doing all this extra stuff? And it's so easy to catch somebody now. Like you can watch a game and follow it on Baseball Savant, and you could look at a pitcher's RPMs in real time. And you can see if there's an adjustment or if there isn't. If you see that a guy's RPMs are up by 200 from one inning to the next, you check that pitcher. If you find something, that pitcher gets in trouble. If not, move on. You know what I mean? Like, don't make this like a a thing that you do. Like, it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's clunky. Like you said, it doesn't, it doesn't feel right. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. That's it, man. That's what's trending in Major League Baseball this week's Hot or Not. Thank you.